at the Jones Technical Institute. Today I'm going to uh, explain to you how to do a brake adjustment on an air system for a Freightliner. Alright, first off, uh, before you do anything, you want to have your iPro on, you want to have your wheels cocked, um, because depending on what kind of brakes you're going to be working on depends on um, if you need to have your parking brake released or not. The spring brakes, you, uh, to, uh, to check your applied uh, stroke, you're going to have to have that parking brake off, so you definitely need your wheel shock. Um, also, you're going to have a board, or i got my man Eric up here. He's going to be uh, pushing my brake pedal for me. You want the pressure on there to be, uh, in the system, to be uh, at least 90 to 100 PSI. We're going to come back here. I'm going to walk you through uh, checking free play. I'm also going to walk you through doing applied stroke. Alright, got all of my tools already down here. Alright, so when you're coming down through here, it's a tight squeeze. Watch your head. Watch what you're working with. When you get your free, when you're testing your free, uh, free stroke, what you need to do is take a tape measure and measure from the back of the brake chamber to the center of the clevis pin here and our measurements two and a quarter inches so then what you're going to do take a pry bar this is why it's called free stroke because you're not using any air pressure you're going to pry it forward measure again from the back of the brake chamber to the center of the clevis pin and right now we are two and three quarters inches so what you would do after that is take those two numbers and subtract uh, them from each other and your remainder is what your free strokes at. Um, when you do your applied stroke, you measure it the same way except for you have somebody press, press the brake. So yeah, again we got our uh, two and a quarter inches. Eric, hit the brake! Now it's we had we had uh, three and a half inches total, and so you uh, subtract that from itself, and that gives you about an inch and a quarter of, uh, of applied stroke, and then you're good. So then, what you need to do after you've done all that is you got to adjust your brakes. So depending on what kind of setup you have, you got a paw here. This paw is actually on the adjustment nut on the slack adjuster so you got to be able to pull that out while while doing it and what you do is you get this on there you pull that pole out because if you do not pull this pole out you are going to damage the slack adjuster and you're going to have to change it anyways you tighten it all the way down to where your brake pads are touching and then you back it off a half turn whatever you do to one side of the brakes you have to do to the other side so if you adjust the brakes on this side you have to adjust the brakes on the other side on that same axle same goes for any axle you do on any brake system or any you know any drums anything you always do the same thing to the ax the other the other uh, brake on the same axle um, thank you for watching Matt with JTech have a good day